Hi there, vinyl community. It's Joel coming at you with some December pickups for vinyl that I picked up. This is mostly going to be hard rock and I guess heavy metal. And a lot of it's unique to me in a way because I just got my vinyl collecting started. Uh, but I think this is a lot of stuff that are uh, is staples in a lot of your collections, but it's all kind of new to me. And I'm just going to dive right in with a, um, I guess this is new to everyone. It's a single from Guns N' Roses. I can't really see the artwork too well. I got the plastic still on so I could keep this hype sticker. So it's kind of shiny. And I, I managed to get this off of eBay for a good price. It was uh, $14 with free shipping. Came from the UK. And um, comes on this violet vinyl. Really cool. It's got uh, Move to the City Live on side two. And then Shadow of Your Love, which is like a track they've recorded in during the Appetite of Destruction years, I guess, on side A. And uh, if I think about it, I'll include the cover artist's uh, Instagram. You can't really see the cover art, though. It's, it's they're kind of like skeletonized um, biker people. I'll include his link on uh, the Instagram link to that cover artist in the link below, in the description below. A really cool guy. Uh, he does a lot of posters for Guns N' Roses. So when they play a city, they'll have like a different poster per city. And you can buy them at the show or buy them on the aftermarket on eBay. The ones I want go for like a grand each. It's ridiculous. So maybe one day Guns N' Roses or the artist might be able to release them at a more reasonable price. Um, instead of such limited qualities, quantities. That would be cool. Uh, another album I picked up is the 2018 reissue of Killer by Alice Cooper. I already have this album on vinyl, just not this particular version. This version uh, I bought, it was $22, so I had to get it. I went to a nice uh, store in Hamilton called, uh, where I live, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, called Cheapies, and at $22, I was like, oh, I gotta get this, even though I have it. So this version comes with the, the calendar of Alice Cooper hanging from the noose that my version doesn't have. And it comes with a um, colored vinyl with red and black. If this was just like a solid vinyl, I probably wouldn't have got it. Like it was just solid red or something. But the red and black marble effect, effect I really enjoy. So I was like, I got to get this album. I'm a big Alice Cooper fan anyway, so I can kind of justify it. And $22 isn't, isn't going to kill me. Uh, the next... Vinyl I got, I bought from Dr. Disc in Hamilton, and this is Billion Dollar Babies. I don't have this on vinyl. This, um, unfortunately, is incomplete. It doesn't come with all the extra stuff you get. Um, I don't think it's a reissue, like a re original version either. It's not the recent reissue, but this is basically what you get, plus the vinyl. The vinyl is in really good condition, like there's no pops or hisses or static. And um, they reissued this recently in 2016 by uh, Rhino Records, but it's going for about 80 bucks because it comes with the, the dollar bill, like the big billion dollar baby bill and all the punch outs and stuff. And it's on color green and it's out of print. So if I wanted this on vinyl, this is probably my best option. There's probably cheaper ones out there. You probably, someone's probably watching saying, oh, I would have sold that to you for five bucks. I got five copies of it, but I'm happy with this. I never had this on vinyl or CD. I only had it on cassette, so I haven't listened to it in about 25 years or so. And just putting it on just brought back a flood of memories. And it's really cool. So that's my Alice Cooper content for the day. Moving on to another 70s band, though. We have um, Black Sabbath, Paranoid. This was 22 bucks. Uh, nice gatefold cover. And it also comes with a um, nice, nice polyline sleeve. And you also have uh, this regular edition sleeve. So that's a classic album. And I'm trying to get all the original eight Sabbath albums on vinyl. And as I picked up this one, I only have one left to get, which is Never Say Die. 
So I got this. This was a little more pricier at uh, $26. They also had one on yellow vinyl, and that was going for $43. But I picked this one up. Uh, probably might be my favorite Sabbath album. Might be. They're all so good. Probably my favorite Sabbath cover art, though. There's the back. It's similar to the, to the front. Probably my favorite Sabbath cover art. I have this on a t-shirt, and I've worn that t-shirt to death. Uh, so we got your inner sleeve here. No polyline with this one. Just uh, oh yeah, there is. I just have it in the wrong sleeve. So this does come with a polyline sleeve plus this insert if you want to use that instead. So I was really happy with that, and I just have one original album to get uh, from the original eight, which is Never Say Die, and that's ooh, I cannot find it anywhere for less than ninety six bucks. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. Um, there's probably cheaper versions used, but brand new, it's it's going for quite a bit. I'm not sure why. Next reissue I got was, uh, or vinyl reissue I got, is Kiss on Mass. So this is a 2014 reissue. Sounds amazing. These are starting to sell it, so I'm, I'm picking them up because... My, actually, honestly, I think Kiss is going to reissue these on colored vinyl. Because that's what Kiss does. They, they always make sure they have stuff in the market because they want to make you you buy the stuff obviously and I think everyone's bought the black versions regular black versions of these who's going to except for me and this comes in a nice sleeve like this and I think they'll release it on colored vinyl because that's kind of like the craze right now this has always been on the forefront of uh, I guess they're behind on this one but you know of reissues or just releasing marketing stuff you know what I'm saying Gene Simmons claims to be like the marketing merchandiser of the world because um, they have Kiss coffins, Kiss condoms, Kiss credit cards. So this comes with the poster inside. Um, little fact, move my hand there. Apparently Peter Chris is winking because he was already out of the band when they they performed this album. I think he only performs on like one song. I don't know my history too much. Someone could probably correct me there. But this is Kiss Unmasked. Uh, not their greatest album. Like It's usually top or bottom 10 when people rank them. I like this album because I like the so song Shandy quite a bit. Uh, it's kind of like a disco-y song though, so it's probably not a big hit with a lot of people. They probably think it's like the softer side of Kiss. And I also liked um, Talk To Me as well. I think there's different variants of this cover by uh, Country as well. So there's a lot going on with this. I don't think this one has different variants, but the original pressings would. Again, I'm not like a super Kistorian or anything. Um, maybe after my Exploring Alice Cooper series, I'll do Exploring Kiss and I'll give better facts. I got that at, um, I bought that at musicvaults.com and uh, they had like a 20% sale, so that was $22. And it, there's better Kiss albums, but I got that one because I wanted the poster, just in case Kiss releases that again. But they released it on vinyl with it, the extra stuff and just colored vinyl. I just wanted to make sure I had the poster because later, or some vinyl issues don't really come with much, and I just wanted the extras. This I picked up for $17 from Cheapies. It's Queen, A Night at the Opera. Um, black vinyl, so I won't show you the vinyl. I had problems getting it in and out of the sleeve. It's kind of like a flimsy paper sleeve, so I'll probably eventually buy some polyline sleeves. And um, I'll replace that because I was kind of tearing the, the album. I think at that price, you know, this doesn't have the best um, packaging compared to the other albums I bought. And that's why I kind of went for 17 bucks, but the vinyl sounds great. No hisses or pops. Um, moving along, I got the Nine Inch Nails EP for Ad Violence. Again, most of these came in the mail or I picked up last week, so I haven't had much chance to listen to everything. I've only listened to everything about once or twice. So here's a sleeve for that. And you got lyrics. So it's got five songs. And then Nine Inch Nails, they always... They have, always have like the best sound control and quality control. So this does sound amazing. When you turn this up, the album doesn't get louder. You just hear more of the, the instruments that are going on. 
So it, it suggests you play it full blast so you can hear all the intricacies, if I said that right, of, of the album. And that's an EP, so it's quite short. I think it runs at around 20 minutes or so. And then I picked up the other Nine Inch Nails album here. Uh, this is not the actual events. So this came with its own like perforated plastic uh, covering packaging, and this is a little better. Um, this came with a download card, whereas uh, the Ad Violence album didn't claim to have, but nothing came with it. And then this comes in a polyline sleeve. All my Nine Inch Nails reissue or albums came in polyline except Ad Violence. So this comes with a polyline sleeve. I don't know what's going on with the Ad Violence, why it, it didn't. And then you got this cool um, album jacket. And I don't think you can see it, but you can barely make it out. If I just, no. There's additional text that's kind of hidden in red. If I shine it just right, you'd probably be, probably be able to see it. You can kind of see it in some spots, but it's got additional lyrics in red. And um, that's kind of really cool. And this is just only advertised as having like one side of music. So it has side A and then the side B just has a really plain label. But it's got three songs from his um, Downward Sp Spiral album played backwards. So it's the music from that played backwards, which is kind of cool. And that was like a big selling feature for me. I don't know why. I was always kind of fascinated with bass ma back masking. You know, I think Led Zeppelin Volume Four. There's always a if you played Stairway to Heaven backwards, it was like Hail Satan or something. And then um, I guess Marilyn Manson for uh, Antichrist Superstar specifically had a children's choir singing songs about Jesus backwards in some songs. <laughs> so I don't know. If that's a rumor. He actually did it. I wouldn't put him past it to do it, but. I always thought that was funny. And I guess I remember, you know, if you're a, lot, a kid in the 80s, the satanic panic thing was like huge. And like preachers would always play like Jesus pre songs backwards and they, they'd find things or Aussie songs backwards and they'd say that you could hear things. And I don't know if it's true. I don't even know how to play a song backwards or why it matters, but it was just kind of a fascinating cultural historical thing that I'm kind of fascinated with. Um, last album I got is the reissue of Metallica Ride the Lightning. This is like a metal staple, thrash metal. Might be my favorite Metallica album. It's kind of tied, I think, with a lot of people with Master of Puppets. I don't think anyone's favorite Metallica album is uh, St. Anger. So, um, comes with this inner sleeve and a download card. Really nice, crisp sounding. Again, this was like 21 bucks. Brand new, sealed from cheapies. Ah, sorry, twenty two ninety eight. So this is going on Amazon for like thirty three. So I was happy to pick pick this up for a better price. And uh, you got your hype sticker there. So that's my vinyl haul for December. I'll probably have a couple more videos coming out. I got um, a Def Leppard box set coming tomorrow, which I might put out after Christmas or before Christmas, depending on my time. And I got a few more albums coming in the mail, possibly, that I might do. And then I hope to get my Love It to Death um, album review for the Exploring Alice Cooper series out uh, before January 1st. Because I'm off this week from work, so I have plenty of time to actually get this stuff done. Aside from uh, seeing family and stuff and friends. So if I don't talk to you or if you don't put out a video... Uh, I hope everyone has like a Merry Christmas and a safe holidays and enjoy some family and friend time. And uh, we all come back safe and we all come back with some really cool vinyls to, to show one another. So take care. Bye now.